In Jesus' name we pray. Father, you are doing it in every way. By faith, through direct divine miracles, without the use of means, or else using means to heal your people, all according to your will. We are seeing you say to Timothy, take no longer water, but a little wine for your stomach ache. You say to King Hezekiah, yeah, put a lump upon the boil, upon the boil, and they got their miracle. I'm praying divine. You will heal people directly through your world, through faith in the name of Jesus. You will heal people that come to Horemo Health Holistic Hospital in Jesus' name. Thank you for the word. Now we're looking to you. Heal people here, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. You can be seated. Faith in the Lord Jesus for your blessing. Victory and answer prayers. Faith in the Lord Jesus for your blessings. Victory and answer prayers. Yeah. In John chapter 10, I read verse 10. The Bible says, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. The devil wants to destroy you. He is after you to ruin you, to bring discomfort to your life. He wants you to be crying. He is using people. He is using circumstances. He is using things around you, things away from you, focusing on you from far distance with his wicked weapons, instruments, bringing things so close to you, using neighbors, using children, using even your spouse, all to affect you. That's what the devil is doing. Is to kill. Is to steal. And to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come to undo all the works of the devil. I have come to set you free. I have come to make you happy. I have come to make you rejoice. I have come to take away your pain. I have come to take away your sorrow. I have come to put laughter in your mouth. I have come to bring peace to your situation. I have come for your total wholeness. I have come for life. Give it to you abundantly. More than Satan has done, I will do it in the right way in your life. That's what Jesus is saying. Yes. That is what Jesus is saying. You have come to this conference to receive some, some desired blessings from God. In your spiritual battle, you desire victory from the Lord. You want God to answer your many prayers which you have made to him many years ago. Recently, and even the ones of today, this is the right place to come. Actually, Jesus is here. This is the right place to be. This is the right place where the presence of God in righteousness is here. The presence of God in love is here. We are seeking your love. We are seeking your peace. All about, we are, all, all that we are doing is for your well-being. We want you to leave this place with a smile. 
We want them to welcome you when you come home. They should welcome you with surprises, with joy, and see that all the sorrows of your life have disappeared. That is what we're doing. That's why we're here. That's why we're laboring on you. That your, your traveling far distance to this place should not be wasted. May God put a testimony in your mouth. May God put a testimony in your mouth. May the Lord change the records about you. Yeah. May the Lord cancel whatever med medical reports have been written on you. Yeah. My sister, receive. Yeah. I say, let the Lord bless your life. Yeah. Let the Lord change your situation. Yeah. In Jesus' name, we decree. Yeah. Yes, my brother, you're here. Although it's women conference, you are told to come. Yes, and you have come. You are expecting something from God. Our God is not a, the God of women alone. He is also the God of men. He will give you your portion. He will give you your portion. I say receive in Jesus' name. That is it. That is it. Faith in the Lord Jesus for your blessing. Victory and answered prayers. Now, faith is the key. Faith. I'm telling you what you should do. I'm telling you what you should know. In Hebrews chapter 11, I read verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. The Bible tells us, saying, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Believe that God is alive. Believe that God created you. Believe that God will amend your life. Believe God will remove your mountain. Believe that God will put you on the, or, or, or upon his wings and fly you across the river, across the sea. Believe that God will change your circumstance. Believe it. God will change your circumstance. Must believe that God is. God is. There is God. There is God. There is the living God. You know that there is Satan. You know that there are evil spirits. You have even experienced their works. You see their works in human society. You see their works in human body. You see their works in human lives. The works of Satan. The works of demons. Why are you not seeing the works of God? Why don't you believe that a positive spirit is there? A positive spirit. Before something spoils, it was original. Before there is anything on unoriginal, something that is not original, there it there is original. Yes, you can only say this is a spoiled fruit, but there was a time it was a good fruit. That is that so. The, before the the, the, the left, the, you see the right hand, you see the left hand. As you see Satan, you see that God has been before Satan. Good has been before, the, before bad. When God made the world, he said it is very good. Good has been there. Before you see evil, good has been there. It is only a spoiled good. You were not like this. You were okay before. You were not born blind. You were okay before. But now, you say, something has affected my eyes. What am I saying? There is the force of good. As you see the force of evil, there is the force of good. God is the first. All good. All good. For your good. For your good. For your good. God is for your good. God is for your good. He is the good God. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. He is all good. He is all good. God is all good. He is a good person. A good creator. Everything he made is good. It is Satan that came and spoiled it. Satan came and spoiled it. Satan is the one spoiling your life. 
Satan is always spoiling the society. And God said, I have come to repair things. I have come to repair things. I'm restoring good in your life. I'm restoring good in your life. I'm bringing restoration to your life. You will see the light of God again. You will see the grace of God again. You will see the goodness of God again. The power of the Lord shall do it in your life. I said the power of God. Let the power of God touch you now. Let the power of God touch you now. Let the power of God release you now. Let the power of God make you whole. Let the lamb rise up and be whole. Let the blind open eyes and see. Let the dumb open their, open their mouth and speak. Power of God, power of God, power of God. I said, power of God, power of God. God will change you. He will restore your life. He will restore your life. Back to good, back to good, back to good, back to good. Receive it now. Receive it. Good, 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 good. God will do it. He that comes to God must believe that He is. He is and He's a rewarder. He does good. He rewards your effort. God will show you He was happy or He's happy that you came all the way to this place. He rewards. God will show you the little suffering you suffered here. Lack of food, lack of good accommodation The heat of the sun God is a rewarder He will reward you He will reward you He will reward you He will reward you God will reward your life That's God Yes That's the God we saw The key that opens the door To the possession That God will give you is faith believe there is a rewarding God who rewards his own people believe in Jesus the Lord and Savior of mankind your lover in the book of John chapter 14 John chapter 14 I read verse 1 the Bible tells us saying let not your heart be troubled yet believe in God Believe also in me. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, the God of heaven. Yes. Yeah. Believe in the God of heaven. And believe that I came down from heaven and became a man for your sake. I came down from heaven and became a man for your sake. I came down from heaven and became a man for your sake. I came down from heaven and became a man for your sake to undo the works of the devil in your life. I am your creator. I am your creator. The God of the living God eternal. I, Jesus, God is our Savior. I came to earth for, for your salvation. Jesus is here for your salvation. Jesus is here for your salvation. God is here for your salvation. He is going to set you free. He will deliver you make you whole and take you to heaven he will take you to heaven after you have prepared your life he will redeem your life he will redeem your life he will break your yokes he will set you free and give you a new life believe all you just need to do believe everybody say believe, believe. say believe. believe do you believe I said, do you believe? Yes. You will receive. Yes. You will receive. Yes. You will receive. Did I not say unto you, if thou canst believe, thou will see the glory of the Lord. If thou will believe actually, you are going to see the glory of the living God. You are going to see the works of the living God. You are going to see the power of the living God. You will see the kindness of the living God. You will see the goodness of the living God. Yes. Believe. Believe in Jesus, the Lord and lover of your life. That's what the word of God is saying in the book of Matthew. Yes. Matthew chapter 5, I mean chapter 8 rather, verse 5 to verse 13. Matthew chapter 8, verse 5 to verse 13. The Bible tells us. Yeah. Let's read from even, let's even read from verse 1 first. Of Matthew chapter 8. 
When he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. See the multitudes gathered before the Lord today. And behold, there came a leper, worshipped worshipped him and, and worshipped him saying lord if thou wilt thou canst make me clean this man came to the creator and said if you will if you are willing you will make me clean if you are willing you will make me clean you, you took your your commodity to a, a repairer and say please are you willing to repair to do to repair this thing for me are you asking that man that is his work. He learned it. He sat down there as, a, as a, a repairer, a mechanic. You're pleading with him to repair your TV, your radio, to repair this and that. That is his work. That is his work. You go and ask a mason, are you willing to build a house for me? You go to ask a driver, are you willing to, for me to enter your car so that you drop me where you're going? I will pay for you. Are you willing? That's their work. So Jesus Christ, when this man said, Lord, my God, my Savior, are you willing? If you are willing, you heal me of my leprosy. And Jesus said, and Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. I will. The Lord said, I should tell you he's willing to set you free. The Lord says, I should tell you, he's willing to heal you. Yeah. He is willing to deliver you. Yeah. He is willing to fight against the devil for your life. Yeah. The Lord says, he is willing to give you that position of joy. Yeah. Yes. As he said, he's willing. People, he's touching people now. The Lord is touching people now. Somebody touched me. Somebody is touching you. Somebody is touching you because he's willing for your salvation. Somebody is touching you. He is willing for your deliverance. Somebody is touching. It must be Jesus. It must be Jesus. It must be Jesus. He's touching you now. He's touching you now for your salvation. Glory to God. He's touching you now because he's willing for you to be free, for your healing, for your deliverance, for your progress, for your promotion. Jesus is touching you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hey, 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 glory. The creator is with his people. The creator is with his people. Everybody give a clap offering to him. He's here with you. He, ah, the creator is with his people. The creator is with his people. Glory to God. Yes, he's willing. He's willing. He's willing for your salvation. He's willing for your deliverance. He will satisfy your mouth with good things. God will satisfy your mouth with good things. Glory to his name forever. Hey. Yes. Thank God. It is done. I am happy my sister has been set free. I am happy my sister has been set free. I am happy our old mothers here have been set free. <laughs> I am happy our brothers who came here have been set free. Yes, in verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion, besieging him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. This man had a servant. He's a soldier. One of the guards that, are, that, are, that, were guiding, that, that was guiding him was sick, tormented. Demon was involved in this matter. Tormented, grievously. Grievously tormented. Yes. And he just narrated the case. He had not yet made request. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. Don't you love him? This means Jesus was going to trek a distance for a servant that is less than his master in wealth. He was going to trek a distance 
to reach that house. I don't know how far. Was he going to take a chariot? Because the distance was far. But it shows the willingness and the compassion and the love of God. Sister, I declare God loves you. He can do anything for you. Come. Was the centurion saying, my servant who is born again is tormented by the devil. It wasn't what he said. Jesus will come to you. Don't condemn yourself. He can do something in your life. Don't condemn yourself. I say he can do something in your life. There are people, Jesus heals them. Because they recognize his lordship. There are people he does it because he's their creator. After he has healed them, they come back and bow the knee. Which one is your own? Whichever, you will be healed. Amen! Yes, I will come and heal him. That is what Jesus told that man. Now, let's go forward. Yes, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am, a, I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to, to my servant, do this. And he doeth it. Wonderful. Wonderful. This man... His understanding had opened to Jesus. The person of Jesus. The owner of the, of the world. The master of the universe. The everlasting God. In the beginning was the world. And the world was with God and the world was God. He was in the beginning with God. And in him... He, he created all things. Nothing was created that was created by himself. He created all things. Living and non-living. This man knew Jesus and said, Is it not by the world you spoke and the worlds were formed? In, we believe that the worlds that exist now were formed out of nothing, but by the word of God. Now, you are the world. You are the world. Speak the world. You don't need to go as far as to my house. When you spoke that there should be vegetation, was it not all over the world it sprang up? When you spoke that there should be birds in the air, was it not over the universe? All the world that birds came up and started flying in the sky. Speak the word now. And my servant, where he is, shall be healed. This is something. Yeah, your mother will be healed. Whether she is here or not here. Come to this faith. Your child shall be healed. Demons shall get out of their life. Whether they are here or not here. Come to this faith. Your husband shall be delivered. Whether he's here or not here. Come to this faith. Miracle will happen in your home. Miracle will happen in your family. The power of the Lord shall move. Because the creator, you are challenging the creator. The one that speaks and there is. He spoke there is. He spoke there is. There will be healing. There will be healing. Universal. Wherever you desire the healing to be. The Lord shall speak the word. It shall go there. You, it shall go there. That demon shall fly away. Those spirits shall fly away. In the name of Jesus. So don't mind. I say, hey, how can I bring my child now? How do I bring my person now? Oh, what do I do? God is here. God is there. God is over there. God is in your nation. God is in that village. God is in the town. God is on top of mountain. God is in the river. God is in the sky. The universe. Where will you go that God is not there? Tell him what you want. 
great creator is speaking to his creatures. Say somebody who has revealed him. Somebody has revealed him. When Jesus had it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily, as I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. Why? A prophet has no honor except in his, among his people. The Israelite that the Lord promised that he was bringing a Messiah, they commonized him. They were fighting him. And as, so, as a result, he didn't release the fullness of himself. They block it. Faithlessness. Faithless. He said, I have not found such faith. Not in Israel. Brother, be warned against commonizing the man of God. Be warned. Otherwise, the fullness of him you will not see. The full power you will not see. God didn't see it in Israel. Because they commonized him. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into utter darkness. There shall be gnashing, weeping, and gnashing of teeth. Yeah, because they commonize him. Because they unbelieve him. You are here in a place of treasure and the glory of the Lord. But you are commonizing everything. You commonize. Commonize the pastor. Commonize the woman of God. Commonize your leaders. Commonize everything. Looks, you will lose the grace. You will lose the blessing. You will lose the power. You will see it and not enjoy it. Because it comes of faith. It is of faith. It is of faith. This is your commonizing. It doesn't allow faith. It produces doubts in your heart. Therefore, reject any suggestion that commonizes. You, if you commonize God, God has, to be, has nothing to do with your life except hell. You commonize him. He went to his own people, but the, the village where he grew up, he went there. They commonized him. Is it not Jesus? Is it not Jesus, son of Mary? Uh, is it not the carpenter? I know his brothers here. Where is he claiming this thing? Where they were very angry. He couldn't do miracle there. He couldn't do any much thing there. He let him just on a few people. A few people. So, brother, it is God that is here. Don't commonize this place. It is God that is here, my sister. Don't commonize this place. So that you can have the, the maximum benefit of this thing. Maximum benefit of holiness revival movement. As God has brought it. Yes. Yes. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the self same hour. Can you repent, magnify God, and get your family members, family members healed today? Can you magnify Jesus? Clear yourself and get all these oppressed ones you have left at home or friends somewhere and get them delivered by your faith you are going to exercise today because the Lord will travel wide today for you. <laughs> he will go to that place. He will do it for you, for your sake. You will go home and hear testimony. You will go home and hear testimony. That that stone has been rolled away. You are going to hear testimony. That that miracle has been done. Because you are meeting with Jesus here. Because you are magnifying Jesus here. You are glorifying Jesus here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 14. And when Jesus was come into Peter's house. He saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. And he touched her, touched her hand, and the fever left her. And she arose and ministered unto them. Woman, there are many things you would, do, you, you would have done for Jesus, but sickness is limiting you. See this woman. Jesus came into her house. But... How could he even greet him? That the body was shaking out of fever. Not talking about fetching water for them. Not talking about going into the kitchen to make some food for them. 
because of sickness. Hey, you will do great. The Lord will lose you from that sickness. In the name of Jesus, you will do something for God. In this end time, you are going to be an evangelist. I say you will preach the gospel. Anything that is inhibiting you, anything that is blocking your life, whether sickness or no sickness, whether human being or money or what or what, they're rolling away, 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 they're rolling away. away. You will serve Jesus in this end time. You will serve Jesus. You will minister to Jesus. You will minister to the church of Christ. You will minister to the men of God. Glory to God. You will do it. You will do it. The Lord will set you free. The Lord will break your yoke. No demon can get you bound. No demon be loose from every bondage of the devil. I destroy it. Clear it. Set you free. Serve Jesus. Serve Jesus. Go and glorify his name. 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 Break your yoke. The Lord will break it. The Lord break it. The Lord break it. The Lord break your yoke. The Lord loose you up. The Lord set you free. The Lord set you free. Hallelujah. You're before your creator. You're before your maker. Yes. There must be a difference. I said there must be a difference. Verse 16. When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with the devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word. Just be preparing because power is coming against those demons. And he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick. Mm. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. I give you time to think about it. Do you want to be free from demons? No, 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 no. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Because the Lord is doing something now. The demons are living. Yes, think about it. Do you want to serve Satan or you want to serve God? Be thinking about it. That snake that is always coming to make covenant with you, do you want that snake to stop coming? Man, that woman that keeps on coming and says you are are her husband, do you want her to stop coming? Woman. You know, there's a man that is always coming to you and say he's your husband. And is even making, missing up with you. And is claiming you. In fact, another one is claiming that you are the daughter. And they carry you to the sea. As I'm talking now, the Lord is provoked. How could precious people, which he met, that stubborn being, left heaven and came down. How could he still be keeping them? After he, God, has come to the world, those people are responsible. Otherwise, as for Satan, Jesus, I know, he said it. He trembles. So the Lord is now saying, the matter is with you. The matter is with you, not Satan. As for Satan, he is the senior of Satan. He is over Satan. He came to the world and settled the matter. As for Satan, no, forget it. Forget it. I told you that when Satan saw Jesus coming to us, he started running. So he will run. As for Satan, he's going to run. I said for Satan, he will run. But uh, what, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Are you, do you want him to run? Are you, are you ready for Jesus? Let the power of the Lord come down upon you now. Power of the Lord come down upon you. Power of the Lord. Let the devil run. Devil run. I say run. Get out. Get out. By the power of Jesus, lose the people. God destroy you in the lives of the people. I break the power of witchcraft. The power of my spirit. Break it. Break it. Set them loose. Set them loose. I tear you to pieces. Get out. Yes. Yes. Everybody say I'm free. free. Say it again. Shout it. He brought you here to set you free. Go and confess. Don't hide it. If you hide it, Satan will come back. When the unclean spirit leaves a man, he will want to come back and check whether the man is still keeping the covenant. You are keeping the secret. He will possess you again. But he has gone. I say he has gone. 
go and report yourself as Jesus said go and show yourself to the priest go and show yourself to the priest go and report you were a witch before you were a mummy spirit but the thing has gone your eyes have become normal your mind has become normal your thoughts have become normal your, your stomach has become normal Amen He that hideth his sin shall not prosper If you hide this truth you will not prosper God has saved you for a purpose He's taking you to a new land He's taking you from Egypt to a new land He has removed you from Satan He's taking you to heaven He's taking you to himself So that you serve him He has taken you to the church So you can serve him you will not be an enemy of the church anymore you won't be an enemy of the kingdom of god anymore but you must confess it you must agree with it you must tell the lord you're happy that you're saying go and make the testimony Hallelujah! <laughs> sit down i'm saying he is here for you i say he is here for you yeah. jesus is here for you yeah. say the Lord is here for me. Say it again. Say it again. Verse 18. Now, when Jesus saw great multitudes about him, he gave commandment to depart unto the other side. And a certain scribe came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Jesus said unto him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. And another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. But Jesus said unto him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their dead. And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose great a great tempest in the sea, in so much that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and woke him up, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he, he said unto them, Where are you, where are you fearful? O ye of little faith. Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea. And there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this? <laughs> that even the winds and the sea obey him. I'm talking about family crisis. Something is going to happen to your family. Ha! Oh! All those witches and wizards, all those demonic power that want to ruin that family people have started dying already oh wake up jesus i say wake him up believe him believe him believe him yes set your family before him all those crises shall die all those winds shall vanish the lord save your family let 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 the lord save your family break every yoke in it Break every yoke, destroy, break, break, destroy, destroy all the powers of witchcraft. Terminate it, terminate it. Fire in your family, fire in your family. Break it down by the power of Jesus. Ha <laughs> ha, the Lord set you free. All those people dying shall die no more. They shall die no more. They shall die no more. Peace shall come. Peace shall come. Peace shall come. Powers of witchcraft, destroy to your family. Begin to tell the members of your family that that family deliverance happened here. And you people didn't pay. Did you pay money here? Freely you have received, freely give. Go and see a family librarian. <laughs> because Jesus visited it. I said Jesus visited it. I said Jesus has visited your family. Librarian. Everybody say librarian. Librarian. Your family has been set free. 
in Jesus' name. Power must come. Power from my book. Hallelujah. When we call on God, power must come. Oh, yes. Get seated, get seated. Power is falling upon you now. Power is falling upon you now. Power is falling upon you now. Get seated, get seated. Your yokes are broken now. Your yokes are broken now. Jesus sets you free. Jesus is setting you free. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. That is the world. Ha. Hey. Happy to come on. I come at Jesus. We have come at Jesus. Hmm? Are you happy to be with Jesus? Yeah. Are you happy to be with Jesus? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 28. Something will happen to your eyes now. Something will happen to your ears now. Something will happen to your mouth now. Something will happen to your paralyzed body now. Verse 28. And when he was come to the other side, into the country of the Gagessens, there met him two possessed with devils, coming out of the tombs, exceeding fears, so that Numa might pass by that way. This time, Jesus will handle those people who were sent with demonic powers. They are walking outside. They have strategically placed themselves. Please check very well where you are. We are let Samson check the pillars of this house and know where the house rested because that house will be pulled down today. <laughs> I'm saying those enemy kingdoms shall be pulled down today. Mm. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee? Jesus, thou son of God, art thou come hither to torment us before the time? And there was a good way off from them and heart of many swine feeding. So the devil besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the heart of swine. And he said unto them, Go! And when they were come out, they went into the heart of swine. And behold, the whole heart of swine ran violently down a steep place into the sea and perished in the waters. Hallelujah! And they that kept them fled and went their ways into the city and told everything and what was befalling to the possessed of the devils. And behold, the whole city came out to meet Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Now, we are going to do many, maybe many things. Number one, those messengers of the devil, agents of Satan, that have been sent here with demons, we will send the demons away and leave them alone. Yeah. Is that not good? Yeah. Don't you like it? So that they also should become Christians. Is that not so? Yeah. But remember, the other people who watched Jesus' power were not happy. They, they, and so they left. They left. I went to be telling stories. They are not happy that their ship got destroyed. All those masters who sent these people from their kingdom, disaster shall happen there. Yeah. 
There shall be death. There shall be destruction. Because they hate Jesus. That's why they sent people here to block it. They, the people, shall hear the story of holiness revival move. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? What did Jesus say to those demons? What did he say? One word. What did he say? I may tell the devil to go. Tell the devil to go. Tell the devil to go. Tell him, go, 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 get out, go, go, get out, go, 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 get out, get out, go, go, get out, get out, go. going against their masters in the kingdom. Who told you that you should send a messenger to block your God? Angels are going there now. I say angels are going to those kingdoms. Ask God that angels should go there. Angels should go there. Go, on, go there. Destroy them. 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 Angels of God. Angels of God. Destroy them, destroy them, angels of God. Destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. Angels, who told you that you should send a messenger here? Who told you that you should bring a messenger? Destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. Angels of God, by the power of Jesus. Destroy them, by the power of Jesus. Destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. By the power of Jesus, by the power of Jesus. Pull down that kingdom, pull down that kingdom. Oh God, let your angel pull them down. Ah, pull them down, pull them. They're captains. Destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. Their leaders, international leaders, burn them with fire, burn them with fire, burn them with fire. Glory to your name. Thank you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. The God that answers by fire. The God that answers by fire. The Lord that answers by fire. The Lord that answers by fire. He will be my God. He will be my God. Amen. Get seated. The message is just going. The message is not finished. Hallelujah. Thank you. That's what God can do. Yes. That's what Jesus can do. Faith in Jesus for your blessing. God can do anything and everything. What blessing do you want from Jesus? The Lord says, I ask you. In Mark chapter 10, verse 51, the Lord says, I ask you, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want God to do for you? Verse, verse 51, and Jesus answered, and said unto him, What will thou that I should do unto thee? Open check. How much do you want to write? <laughs> How much will you write? <laughs> A 
I, you know, I will tell your story. A woman met me here and said somebody employed her. And this person that employed her said, how much will, be, will I pay you monthly? He says 20,000. I said, come, 20,000. What do you mean? Can 20,000 pay your rent? Can 20,000 feed you? You, Jesus said, I shall ask you. Don't behave like that woman. <laughs> I'm sure that woman has repented. I said, how much do you want? Or oh, what do you want? I shall ask you. Receive! Receive! Let God pour it upon your life. God, pour it upon your life. I'll put the door. I'll put the door. I'll put the door. Receive! All for you. All for you. All for you. Abraham's blessings are mine. Hallelujah. My hands are blessed with the blessings of God. My hands are full of the blessings of the Lord. Ah. Anything I touch. Surely must be blessed. My hands are filled with the blessings of the Lord. You start hands and rub your body. Everywhere is blessing. Everywhere is blessing. Every part of you is a blessing. Everything about you is a blessing. Everywhere blessing, blessing. From your head to your toe. Glory, glory, glory. Bless you everywhere. Receive. Let everywhere. Let it move around you. Let it move around you. Let it enter into your life. Let it enter into your mouth. Enter everywhere. Soak your life. Go to your bloodstream. Take over your bones. Blessing. On your womb. On your reproductive system. Blessing. Everything. Receive. Receive. Glory. God has done it. God has done it. God has done it. Amen. Sit down. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord will do something today. The Lord will bless your life today. The Lord will bless your life today. The Lord will bless someone today. It will be you. Yeah, it will be I. It will be someone by your side. You receive. Receive. <laughs> the Lord will bless someone today. It will be you. It will be ah, it will be someone by your side. Receive from God, 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 from God. <laughs> hey.
I didn't say it may be. I didn't say it may be. I said it will be. Sing it right. It will be, it will be. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. Receive, hallelujah. Receive, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Yeah, get seated, get seated. The Lord told you, many gifts are here. We're handling them from time, point to point. Point to point. As to how many you have received. Just put them aside and get new ones. When you go, go and share. Take your own and share the other ones. Hallelujah! Ha! Faith in Jesus for your victory. Faith in Jesus for your victory. Let me tell you. I am told to declare to you that the battle that has been going on between you and that other person, that you have won in that battle. You are the winner! You are the winner! Get seated. Hallelujah. The court came out at last and declared that you have won and has, and has charged your opponent to pay some money to you. Receive! <laughs> Receive! In Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 20. Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 20. And the 17 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Now, I'm going to ask you that you should send away that wizard around you. Send him out of that village. You hear? That wizard troubling that community. I say, send him out. I say, send him out. Get him out of that place. Thank you. It is done. 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 Amen. Get seated. And the 
the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, stretch forth your hand. Hallelujah. Yes. Behold, I give unto you power. To trade on serpents and on, on scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Receive power. 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 Receive. Receive. All over me is moving me around. That power is moving me around. Is moving me around. Is oh, oh. let the power of the Lord move around you. Power over the devil. Power over the devil. Power over the devil. Power over your enemy. Power over witches and wizards. Power of all country people. Jesus man. All over you. It's all over me. I don't know when you want to squeeze something, you want to break something, you want to piece something. How do you do it? To that piece of paper, do you tear, do you pull, whatever, or do you match it, whatever? Tear them, tear them, serpent and scorpion, tear them, tear them, destroy them, take them, serpent and scorpion, tear them, tear them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, burn them with fire, burn them, burn them, burn them, fire, burn them, burn them, burn them, fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 destroy them, set them on fire, destroy them, match them, kill them, destroy them, kill them, match them, kill them, match them. I give you power, 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 power over serpents and scorpions, over all the works of the devil, over all the works of the devil, over all the works of the devil. Power, 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 power in your life. In your tongue, in your body, in your eyes, in your mouth, in your leaves, receive power, anointing, 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 power, 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 destroy them, destroy them, get them squeezed in your family, get them destroyed everywhere, everywhere, in the church, 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 in the camp, in the camp, in the in the in the kitchen, in the kitchen, terminate. Terminate, 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 terminate in the eatery. Fire, fire, fire. Match them, match them. Scorpions, serpents, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. Everywhere in the hostel, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. Fire, destroy them. Break them down, break them down, break them down, break them down, break them down. The Lord will go before you to your family. The Lord will go before you to your workplace. The Lord will go before you to your office. The Lord will go before you even everywhere. Victory, 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 victory.
Jesus name we pray get seated thank you Lord now we're crowning it all the Lord said I should tell you something he knows the thoughts you're thinking he knows the desires that are coming some desires are coming you're saying impossible impossible who told you that it is possible you are serving the God of possibility the desire of the righteous shall be granted clean desire good desire now see what he wants to say in Jeremiah chapter 29 I read from verse 11 and 12. Yes. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Your prayer will be answered. The Lord said in the, in the conference today, just be praying. Get your friend and let, pray together. Agree together. Pray for yourself. Pray on your own. Pray by phone with anybody. He knows what you want. He will be answering. How many prayer points are you going to give God? One or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten or eleven or twelve or thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Cry how many prayer points you are going to give your God? Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. He will answer. He will answer. He will answer. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. You now know him. You have, already, you have received him now. You have believed in him now. He's a good God. Forever he's good for you. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. He has done all this thing for you. He has done all this thing for you. And it's going to be your own forever. Let God be your portion. Let God be your portion. Let God be your portion all the world over. The Lord says you should not fear. Amen. The Lord says you should not fear. Never, never worry. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> All is well. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. I believe all shall be well. 
I say I believe all shall be well. Oh yes, I believe all shall be well. I say I believe all shall be well. Amen. Tell your neighbor it's well with you. It's well with you. Praise the Lord. It's well with you. Hey, my wife, it is well with you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Glory. Praise the Lord. It is well. It is well. Well with you. Well with you. Well with you. Glory is well. 